my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today's video is based on Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite days of the year and it's coming up really soon, only in a couple of days, and I'm a hopeless romantic. My boyfriend knows that he has to wine and dine me that night or I'll be upset <laughs> because it is one of my favorite days. So today I've done this Valentine's Day look where you can wear this maybe to a lunch date or a picnic well, kind of a glamorous picnic. So something not crazily heavy. But I've also teamed up with another makeup artist from Sydney, Australia. Her name is Jax and her channel is Jax Sanchez TV. I will leave the link down below for you. Also her Instagram page too. She's done more of a sultry evening look. So mine's kind of the day lunch look and hers is going into the night for the dinner date. So if you'd like to learn how to achieve this look, please stick around and enjoy. And don't forget to go check out Jax's channel too. So I hope you enjoy this guys and I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye. So I thought I'd go for more of a dewy finish today for my foundation. So I'm using the NARS She Glow in Stromboli for my foundation today. And for my concealer, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in shade NC35. And I'm applying that underneath my eyes and I'm blending that out with my damp beauty blender. For a highlight today, I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. And I'm applying that to the highest points of my face and of course blending that out once again with my beauty blender. So that my foundation is set in place but doesn't look too matte, I'm using my Inglot Loose Translucent Powder in shade 15. I don't want the look to be too matte as I want to keep that dewy finish. So just set that foundation. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm taking the shade Banana and I'm applying that on the highlighted points to just set those parts so they stay nice and bright. And then I'm going to take the same contour palette and I'm taking the color Java and I'm going to mix a little bit of copper brown as well, which is the deeper color in the middle. And I'm going to use that as a soft contour on my cheekbones, also around the hairline temples and also down the sides of my nose and under my lip. So once you've applied your contours, get a fluffy brush and just blend all of those harsh edges so it looks nice and diffused. For blush today, I'm using my Makeup Geek blush in shade Spellbound, which is a beautiful pretty pink. And I'm applying that to the apples and the backs of my cheeks. For a highlight, I'm using my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. It's the longest name in the world. <laughs> and um, I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, and of course the top of my lips and chin. This is a liquid highlight, so it, it gives this beautiful glow, and it's definitely very dewy. For an eye base today, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Let's Skate. It's actually a shimmery pink base. It's really hard to see the full effect on this screen here, but it is quite beautiful just by itself. So I'm using that as a base today. I'm taking my Naked Urban Decay palette, and I'm using the shade Naked as a transition color into the socket with a fluffy brush. Taking the Colour Virgin from the same palette, I'm using this as a highlight underneath the brow bone. Now I'm taking an Inglot Cosmetics eyeshadow number 31, it's a beautiful neutral colour and I'm applying this onto the entire lid of the eye just to enhance that base colour. Now I'm taking 609, another Inglot Cosmetics colour and I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush and I'm applying this into the crease of the eye and then I'm going to fluff it out and diffuse it with a big fluffy blending brush. Yeah. 
For eyeliner today, it wouldn't be the same if I didn't use my AMC Gel Liner from Inglot number 77. Filming eyeliner is so hard, um, so I've tried to do my best. I'm just doing a simple winged liner, not too thick, not too crazy. For my waterline today, I'm using my Inglot Cosmetics Coal Pencil in 05, which is a cream colour. So taking the same 609 shadow as we used before in the socket, I'm using that underneath the eyes as well as this darker plum purple and I'm going to blend that out and make that look really soft and smoked out. And then I'm going to take another shade which is number 7, it's a gold highlight colour and I'm going to apply that into the tear duct area with a Sigma pencil brush. Next, just pop on some mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Volume Express Smoky Eyes and I'm applying that to the top lashes and of course the bottom lashes as well. And I'm just going to apply some false lashes to finish off the eyes. For lip liner today, I'm using my Kiko Lip Liner in 311. Taking one of my absolute favourite lip products at the moment, it's by Elise Fass, I hope that's how you pronounce it, it's shade L409, it's an absolute must, I got it from Mecca, I really suggest you guys go and grab one. So that's the look guys, I hope you like it. So that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe you will give it a go for Valentine's Day. Please go and check out Jax's channel as well. The link will be down below in the description bar so make sure you go and do that. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Share with your friends and comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!